The number one question that I am asked by new tappers and old tappers alike is, what do I say when I am tapping? Now, two weeks ago in episode 600, we spent some time talking about a fun little tool that I like to use when I'm dealing with an issue, when I'm dealing with something that I'm struggling with as a way of finding tapping phrases as reframing. It's called self-coaching. Go back and check that episode out. Today, what I want to do is I want to show you another tool, and this is a way to create tapping phrases that are encouraging, that are inspiring, that are strengthening. And the best part about this process is every single phrase is customized just for you. This is Gene Montrostelli, and welcome to the Tapping Q&A podcast, recorded live to tape from Williamsburg in Brooklyn. This is episode 602, originally aired March 13th, 2024. Now, back at the beginning of this calendar year, I released the Tapping Action Journal. And what the Tapping Action Journal is, is it's a really simple process that leads you through tapping at the beginning of the day, and it leads you through 90 days of tapping. So all you need to do is take a few minutes, sit down, follow along, and dive into it. Now, each and every single day of the Tapping Journal is structured basically the same. The beginning every single day is a couple of minutes of wordless tapping, just doing some tapping, seeing what's coming up, clearing, being grounded in our system. The last part of the tapping journal is the documentation portion. We're writing down the things that we learn from the tapping. We're crossing off the fact that we have tapped every single day. We're writing down insights. We're writing down tail enders so we can tap on them in the future. Now, the middle part is something that changes every single day, that there's about a dozen different approaches that I use. And depending on the day, we use a different one as we work through the 90 days. But the careful observer will notice that the seventh day, every seven days is exactly the same. And what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about that seventh day and how you can use this approach to create tapping phrases and tapping sessions that are perfectly tailored for you. Now, if you are new to tapping and have no idea what I am talking about, tapping is this very, very powerful tool that you can use on yourself, that you can use when you're helping other people. It's super, super simple. All you need to do is follow the little red arrow in the upper right hand corner. Click on that link. It will take you to learn to tap.com where I will share all the basics with you in less than 15 minutes. So you will be able to start using the stuff that we talk about in the podcast all of the time to create change and transformation in your life. When we are tapping with a teacher, with a practitioner, with a tap along video, a tap along audio, oftentimes as we're working through it, there are certain phrases that resonate. They resonate very, very deeply where we can kind of feel them from the inside out as if they were written perfectly for us. And this is because as we're working through tapping, as we're working through anything, the stuff that is unuseful becomes white noise and just kind of goes floating away. And the stuff that is useful is the stuff that we remember. Now, oftentimes when I am tapping, I, I always have a pen and a piece of paper nearby because when I'm tapping, there are things that come up in the tapping that I want to remember. Maybe it is a to-do or an action item that I want to do later today or a solution to a problem that I've been struggling with that comes bubbling up, a, a tail ender, an issue I know I want to approach later to make sure that I'm getting cleared or a piece of insight that my heart, that my soul needs to hear. Now, the reason why I always tap with a pen and a piece of paper nearby is because I know I'm not going to remember that really insightful thing. Now, I might go, ooh, that's really valuable. I want to remember that. And four or five hours later, the only thing I remember is I wanted to remember something, but I don't remember what that actual thing is. And that is because when we're in the moment and things resonate with us on a soul level, the common go so quickly. If we don't grab a hold of them, we lose them. So one of my favorite ways to do this is something that I call an insight tracker. And I've been doing this for a number of years. Basically, I have a tapping journal where I'm keeping track of my daily tapping and what's coming up and that sort of stuff. But I have a special page where every single day what I do is I write down one or two insights that have come up inside of that tapping, a phrase that resonates with me deeply. 
And so then what I do is every week or so, I go back to those phrases and I read them one at a time and I tap along to them because those were the phrases in the moment that resonated with me on a soul level. Those were things that I really needed to hear. And so when I built the Tapping Action Journal, I built it off of my experience over the last three or four years of tapping every single day. And so I included the insight tracker as part of that. And then every seven days as you're working your way through the journal, we go back to the insight tracker. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did a live stream every single day with the tapping journal where every day for seven days, we did one of the days of the tapping journal just to demonstrate what it was like. And so for day seven, when we were tapping on insights, what I did is I reached out to the people who had been joining me every single day on YouTube or watching the replays after the fact. And I said, could you do me a favor? Could you please share with me a couple of phrases from your insight tracker so I can show you how powerful that is? So what I'm going to share with you right now is a snippet of that day seven. At the beginning of it, I'm going to explain just a little bit of what we are doing and how we are doing it. Some of the explanation you've just gotten here and then what you're going to hear and what you're going to experience is us tapping along to the phrases that resonated with people over the course of the week. So if you're in a circumstance where you can do this, I would encourage you to tap along with all of this. And so here is me demonstrating the insight tracker with real phrases from real people just like you. For part two today, as you look at your PDF, what you'll actually see is we have a list of affirmations. Um, and the reason why there's a list of affirmations is every seven day, I like to do some positive tapping but I don't actually like to use these, like these are fine affirmations. These are good affirmations. These are useful affirmations. Um, you know, as you go through the action journal, there is over a hundred affirmations, unique affirmations that you can tap on. But the thing I find more valuable, and we do this every single day, is at the end of tapping, I encourage you to go to your insight tapper or insight tracker and to write down something that came to mind while we were tapping. And so what I like to do every seven days is I like to take this insight tracker right here and I like to tap on the phrases that are on my insight tracker because these are the phrases, these are the insights, these are the things that came bubbling up. And so I sent an email out to everybody who's on the list for the seven day little challenge. And I said, hey, if you feel comfortable, share your insights with me. And a whole bunch of people did that. And so this morning I went through the list and I took a bunch of those insights and I wrote them down and I edited them a little bit to make them trapping script. So what we're actually gonna do is we're going to spend some time right now tapping on your insights. These are things that are just people just like you and maybe even you submitted in. And so for our part two tapping, what we're going to do is we're going to tap on your phrases. I do this every single week. I go through my old phrases. So we're going to do this as a community. Tap on the side of the hand, take a nice big deep breath. And I'm going to encourage you to just move from point to point in the order that makes sense for you. Say these out loud if it's safe and comfortable where you are. And just repeat after me. I can relax and reclaim my health. I have a lot to be grateful for in my life, even if everything is not perfect. I will learn as I safely take actions towards my goals and my desires. This is good for me. I am in my own energy. It is safe for me to tap more often for gratitude. I am grateful now. I feel love, warmth, self-acceptance, 
and it feels so good. I give myself permission to do tapping regardless of what anybody else thinks. I can slow down and still accomplish what I want. I can trust my body to heal. I have hope, real hope. It is safe and I am allowed to help my system by having healthy habits. I've made some great connections with my bodily health and I give myself permission to keep doing so. Smile, I am a healing machine. I give myself permission to breathe, relax my body, and believe that I can heal. I can break my tasks down into small manageable parts, and I'm going to do so more often. I am safe and deserve to expect positive outcomes in my life. <clears throat> All is well. I can do this. I'm going to just do the best that I can. And I will know how to do it better next time. My mission driven work is highly important to me and I give myself permission to keep doing it. It is safe, and I am allowed to quiet my chattery brain and listen to my internal guidance. I am already successful. I believe this and I release more fears. I see myself getting healthy every day in big and small ways. Nice big deep breath. Give me a big stretch. What'd you notice? What surprised you? Jot some notes down on day seven. You also have all those affirmations in your PDF if you want to do that. And so again, cross off day seven. You made it through seven days. This is awesome. Add something to that insight tracker. It's something that is so powerful. Isn't it amazing the quality 
of those tapping phrases. Now, not every single one of them resonated with you, but I am certain a couple of them did. And it's amazing because those weren't phrases coming from a skilled practitioner who has been doing this for years and years and years. Those are not phrases coming from someone who teaches the tool. Those are phrases from everyday tappers who are just trying to make their life a little bit better. And so it's super easy. You can do the exact same thing. There's a couple of ways you can do it. First of all, you can just implement the insight tracker. I would encourage you to take notes every single time you tap, just get a notebook, just take some notes, put it in there, create a page for your insight tracker. So every single time an insight comes up, you can tap along to it. The other option is I would love to hold your hand through this particular process. I'd love to get you a copy of the tapping action journal. So there's two ways you can get access to the journal. The first way is you can get a copy of the journal absolutely free and I will send it to you anywhere in the world. If you join the authentic action Academy, what it will do is it'll give you an opportunity to not only get access to the journal and a whole bunch of really awesome stuff, we also get an audio copy of every single day of the journal. So in addition to having the book, you'll have 90 days of tap alongs to lead you through it, just like you saw right there. The second way you can get a copy of the book is you can actually get the book from Amazon. It is $40. You can get it basically anywhere in the world. So if you'd like to get a free copy of the tapping journal, all you need to do is go to tapping Q and a.com slash seven hyphen AAA. You'll get all the information on the authentic action Academy as well, how you can get the journal absolutely free, or you can go to Amazon. If you go to tapping Q and a.com slash Amazon hyphen journal, it'll take you directly to the page and you can get a copy of the book basically anywhere in the world. What's most important is to recognize the fact that your internal guidance system, every single time you sit down to tap on your own or with a resource from somewhere else is going to tell you what the valuable phrases are, are going to tell you what the valuable ideas are. Make sure you jot those down in some way, and it's going to make it so much easier for you to be successful with your tapping, to get more out of it. And the more you get out of it, the more likely you do it, the more likely you do it, the more you get out of it. And it creates this amazing cycle of just healing and transformation that becomes a habit and not a chore. If you look on the screen right now, you will see a link to all of the podcast episodes. Click on that, follow along more resources to make it easier for you to get more out of your tapping. And I look forward to tapping to you real soon.